Hey, today I want to answer a question that someone sent in recently about modesty. And this was a person that had just began their walk with the Lord. And they was wanting to know what, what we could give them, if we could give them any pointers. So today we're just going to give a really brief answer. And I'm going to give you the best answer answer that I've ever heard on a definition of what modesty is. So again, we're not going to get into a lot of the do's and the don'ts and all of these type of things. This is just sort of going to be a rough answer. Not a rough as in rough, but a rough as in, you know, we're just sort of going to touch the surface or the surface a little bit on this answer. But I realize today that a lot of people, before I share this with you, I'm going to say this. I realize today that a lot of people have their their opinions on modesty and a lot of them today, uh, they might deal, if you ask them what's their opinion of modesty, they might want to say, well, it's uh, wearing this length on this or not putting this here or not putting that there. And and a lot of those things aren't a bit more biblical than anything. Okay, so if you've got a personal conviction on something, that's fine. If you don't feel right doing something, that's fine. But a personal conviction is just what it is. It's a personal conviction. Okay, but I want to read to you out of 1 Peter chapter number 3, and then I'm going to share with you the best definition of modesty, and I think this will really help you as an individual. In verse Peter chapter number three and verse number three says this, whose adorning let it not be that outward. Okay, now I'm going to, I'm going to stop right here and say this here verse, a lot of people have misunderstood and took out of context for many a years. It says, not let it be that outward adorning of plaiting the hair and of wearing of gold. And, and I've had, I've grown up where I've seen people and, and seen fellowships that they did not believe that you could uh, plait your hair. Women should plait their hair or wear any kind of bow in their hair or uh, wear watches or wear wedding rings or wear any, any kind of clips or brooches on or anything like that. They couldn't do that because of this verse is what they would say, okay? That's not a bit more what that verse is saying than anything, and I'm going to prove it, okay? First, I want to read to you the rest of the verse. The rest of the verse proves it before I prove it the other way. The rest of the verse says, or of putting on of apparel. Do you know what apparel is today? Apparel is clothing, the attire you wear. So if they're going to say this verse is saying of plaiting the hair, we're not to plait our hair, we're not to wear gold, it's also saying we're not to wear clothes. Well, we know, and I, I'm, I'm just being, that's the way they're teaching this. They're not, they don't teach that part, but basically that's what this verse is going on and saying, or of putting on of apparel, okay? So what I'm saying is they're teaching this wrong because they're not reading it. They're not, and, and, and what they're doing is they're wanting to do it and make it fit their rules and their regulations, and, and it turns into legalism is basically what it turns into. But here's what the verse says then on verse number four. It says, but let it be the hidden man of the heart. In that which is not corruptible, even the ornament. Now, you know what an ornament is. When you look around you in Christmas time and you see a tree and all these trees are de decorated with beautiful ornaments or homes. Maybe you might have some ornaments hanging up somewhere in your home. It says of a meek and a quiet spirit which is in the sight of God of great price. So that there says that that verse is saying don't. It's not saying don't plait your hair. It's not saying don't wear a gold watch or don't wear a gold ring or don't put a bow in your hair or don't wear clothes. That's not what it's saying. It's saying when people see you, and this is part of the modesty that we're talking about, when people see you, let them see your inner man. Let them see a meek spirit. Let them see a quiet spirit. Let your let your tree be decorated with the ornaments of quietness, with meekness, with love. That's being modest, with joy, with happiness, with peace, with friendliness. That's part of modesty. Let people see your inner person, okay? not It's not saying don't do this and don't do that. Well, don't wear a watch. No, it's not saying that. It's saying let people see. Because I'm going to tell you something today. I have saw many people over the years that have went the other way, and they've not wore a watch. They've not wore clips in their hair. They've not uh, wore a wedding band. and They've wore long sleeves down to their, to their fingertips. They've done all of these things. And you know, there are some of the most unfriendly people I've ever met in my life, and a lot of them profess to know God. But you know why a lot of them was unfriendly? Because they look at someone else and they think, ha, well, that person don't do like I do, and I'm a Christian. Well, you know what? I'm going to do what the Word of God says, and I don't want to add to the Word of God. People that, that add things and they say, this is what the Word of God says when it don't say it, the Word of God nowhere teaches that long sleeves denotes you're a Christian. The Bible said, by this will all men know that you're my disciples, not if you have long sleeves on or not if you don't wear a watch. By this will all men know if you have love 
one for another. That's part of living modest, a modest life. Living a life that's pleasing to God where people look back and they see the hidden man. They don't see the they don't see the boisterous person. They don't see the person that wants to be the center of attention or the person that's trying to attract attention. But part of being a modest person is to have that humble spirit, have that meek spirit, and have that quiet spirit that people see, and they'll know there's something different about you. And I'm going to close this video because I said we're only touching the surface on this subject. If you've got any questions, feel free to email us, and we don't care to touch on if you want a specific part. We, we don't care to touch on that in a later video, but I'm going to close this with the best definition of modesty that I ever heard, and this was my pastor in the church I was under uh, going to at the time, and I was sitting under him. My pastor said this one time. He said, his definition of modesty is this, not going too far in either direction. Don't go too far one way, and don't go too far the other. These people that hold to this and they feel like, well, you can't do this. You can't put a clip in your hair if you're a woman. You can't wear a wedding band. You can't wear a watch. You can't wear short sleeves. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't. They're going too far one direction, okay, because they're teaching things the Bible don't say. But at the same time, he said you can't go too far the other way. You can't do like you used to do if you're doing things that's not pleasing to God. You don't need to, to go out and go some of the places or tell some of the jokes or go to some of the, the places, that the worldly places that maybe you used to go to. You, maybe you need to change a little bit because obviously now you're living for the Lord. So he said you can't go too far one way and you can't go too far the other way. Walk in the middle. Walk with the Lord each and every day. You know, you don't tell the dirty jokes you used to tell, and you don't need to laugh at the dirty jokes you used to laugh at. But at the same time, don't look down on someone because you think you're better than them because you're doing something that the Bible don't even actually name. The Bible said here, let people see the inner man. Let people see. That's part of modesty that will be pleasing to God. So if you're a new convert in Christ, here's what I would encourage you to do. I would encourage you to let people see the things in you that God has put in your heart, like love and joy. Let them see friendliness. Let them see kindness. The Bible said they're like ornaments that they decorate your body that people will see. See, they can see and they can touch your watch, but that's not what they, they're going to see. You can say, I'm a Christian all you want, but if you don't have a friendly spirit or a friendly smile, you will never impress that person or you will never get that person to thinking, hey, there's something different about them. So what we're saying today is don't go too far in the other direction. The life that you used to live, you're different. You don't do a lot of those things anymore. Now, some of the things, you can still fish and you can still, you know, do some of those things and hobbies and you can still go, uh, you know, places and have fun with your family and these type of things. You can still do that. You don't sit in your house 24-7 and just go to church. No, you can enjoy life. The Bible said, I am come that you might have life and have it more abundantly, okay? So you can still do that. But at the same time, you don't go the other way where you say, oh, well, I'm, I'm better than that person over there because the Bible said those people, they'll have their reward. And we know what the Bible teaches about, you know, if we add to the things in the Word of God and we add to it or we take away from it, we can't do that. So I hope this video helps you. And again, read those verses after, after where the video closes here. Read it again and read how it says. It's not saying you can't do it, but it's saying let your adorning be, let this be what people sees. So I hope this video helps you if you're a new convert in Christ. Let people see your love and joy and peace and long suffering with others and your meekness and gentleness and kindness and all of those good things. Let people see see that. Uh, and that is part of living modesty in 2024 and 2025 and 2026. And as long as the Lord allows, that's part of it. Let people see your life and your life in Christ. Hope this video helps you. Remember, God loves you. God bless you. And we'll catch you on the next video.